Hey guys, so I've just uh, I've just received my uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W two, and um, I actually got this a couple days ago, and I'm recording the video of it now. So I'm gonna do a quick un unboxing or unpacking video, and um, then I'm going to I'll, I'll do a quick demo too. I'll, I'll show you. Um, I'm probably gonna run Ubuntu on it, but I'll see. So I'm, I'm gonna show you what it, what comes in the package, and um, this is actually the the Vilros. Um, it's a Vilros kit, so it comes with like a you know, a charger and a, a bunch of cables and stuff, but I'll show you what comes in this kit. And if you want to find this kit, just check the link in the description. Um, I'm going to try to have a link to either this kit or the closest I can find to it, but I believe I actually got this one on eBay, but I'll, I'll see. Maybe I'll either put an eBay link or an Amazon link or both. Um, any case, yeah, so so uh, th this is the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W. It's supposed to be twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi, uh, as the original Raspberry Pi Zero, but um, but it has the same amount of RAM. It still has uh, 512 megs of RAM, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, at the price point and everything, the size and everything, that's still pretty good. All right, so it comes up with this nice pinout uh, diagram, which is all fine and great. Um, it comes with this cable, looks like a, uh, so it comes with this USB adapter, comes with this HDMI adapter, you know, so from mini or micro HDMI to uh, regular HDMI. Um, where, where's the actual, so this is the actual board. This is probably what you want to see the most. Um, let's see here. So this is it. This is the actual, actual Raspberry Pi Zero W2. And apparently, I believe this is supposed to be specially Raspberry Pi uh, designed um, system on a chip here that I believe they designed that mostly, if not all themselves. In any case, I'll talk about what, what comes on this in a little bit. Let's take a look at the rest of what comes in this kit. So it comes with a sticker and a heat sink. And what else comes with this? I should probably open that the right way, but I'm gonna throw the box away anyways. All right, so it comes with a case, and I believe this is supposed to be the same form factor as the Raspberry Pi, as the original Raspberry Pi Zero. I'm gonna show you one just so we can kind of compare them. But I believe the cases for the, the Raspberry Pi Zero and the Raspberry Pi Zero Two are compatible. So they should fit in the same thing. Um, anyways, this comes with a bunch of, all right, so this looks like it comes with a couple different options. Like, okay, so this back, this, I believe you could mount a camera, the Raspberry Pi camera on this, and there's a hole for the camera to look through. Um, that's kind of neat and all. Um, this would be for the pins to, to stick through if you want that option. Um, and this is the regular case. You see the, you know, the USB and the HDMI ports there. Let's see if I can actually open this though. There we go. All right, so this is pretty convenient too. All right, so comes with a short cable for the camera in case you want the camera hooked up within the case, which is kind of nice. Comes with these little feet for the case, little rubber or silicon or whatever they are. So this nice, I guess that's a sticker or just a piece of cardboard, I guess. Um, is it? I don't know. Anyways, it comes with these extra pins, which are convenient if you, uh, you know, so you can get these. I know at least with the regular Raspberry Pi Zero, you can get them either with just holes like this, or you can have this pins pre-soldered in it for you. But um, you, it's it's kind of nice when they give you the pins that you can just uh, stick these in here um, if you want. So you would probably, yeah, that's, that's pretty loose. You'd probably have to solder that in if you wanted that to stay in there, but then you would have pins to connect things. To. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. And uh, what else does this come with? So it comes with a power adapter. And uh, let's see what we get with this. So this is really convenient, actually. So this is this should be pretty much an optimal power adapter for this Raspberry Pi. And it comes with a nice little switch. So you don't have to plug and unplug it when you want to, you know, power it down or power it on. So that's really nice. Um, how much power does this have? So, yeah, we have, uh, yeah. We have 2,500 milliamps or, or like two, 2.5 amps. 
and an out and five volts. So let me turn that so the camera can see it. So there you go. Um, and that that is the connector there. All right, so that's that's basically that. That's kind of nice that it comes in the kit with this. These are these are things that you're a lot of these you're going to need. You won't need all of this stuff, but probably you'll need some of it. So it's kind of nice to have a kit that comes with this stuff. Now, this is something I kind of wasn't expecting, but um, it comes with this little case, which is which is nice, I guess. It's always nice to have another case like this. Um, little pocket for whatever. And it opens up like this, you know, in case you carry your pie around on the go. I can't see doing that, but this is a nice little case they just threw in there for free that I had no use for, but there it is. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna move some of the, all of this extra stuff out of the way. And let's see here. I am going to go over, you know what? Let's talk about the specs. Let's, let's put this over here. And uh, let's zoom in on it a little bit. And uh, all right, so maybe I should just hold this here. But I, I wanted to go over some of the specs or, or some of the you know specs and features and stuff. All right, so so uh, this is it. So it's a uh, one gigahertz quad core CPU, sixty four bit. It's um it's an ARM Cortex A fifty three, and um, so not like the newest ARM Cortex out there. But, um, you know, it's not really old or anything either. And um, so it comes with wireless built in. Um, it's going to give you B, G, and N wireless. It's going to uh, give you 512 megs of RAM, which is the same as the original Pi Zero. And it, it has, uh, what, what else do we have on here? So we have the, uh, we have a CSI camera connector. So this is good for creating like a webcam or like a security cam or something. Now there's no display connector. So you'd have to, I don't know offhand if you can do that with the pins or how you would, or you would just have to use USB. But um, I mean, I know people commonly use these for game systems, but um, for building retro gaming systems. But yeah, th this is the uh, CSI camera connector. Um, I've, I've actually connected a camera to my Pi Zero, so we could do the same with this Pi Zero uh, 2. And what, what else? Uh, hat compatible 40 pin connector so this is your 40 pin connector that you can actually connect those pins to or you could just solder wires directly to it whatever you prefer um micro usb power and um what, what else it has a uh, mini hdmi and a usb 2.0 over otg port <clears throat> and uh what else what else uh so apparently there's a composite video and reset pins via via soldering test points. All right, so I, I guess you know at these points, if you if you solder the right pins, you could connect uh, you know composite video. If if that's something you have a, a use for, I, I can't imagine, but I guess people do. People come up with all kinds of things that they want to do with these. Um, what else should we cover with this? It has Bluetooth 4.2. Uh, slash Bluetooth low energy, which I'm not super familiar with, but there, there's that. And um, I guess those are all like the actual, uh, also video core for GPU. And that's that's about all I would want to talk about in terms of specs. I mean, the next thing to do with this is to actually try it out. So we're going to, I'm going to test this out. And I actually noticed I did not see a uh, an SD card in this kit. So that is something you're going to need. And that's something that I believe is, unless I miss something, this kit is actually lacking an SD card. I might put a link to a kit that does have an SD card or just an SD card. But fortunately, I have a ton of SD, a ton of spare SD cards around that we could use for this. So I'm gonna do the demo for this in a sec. But um, what else? Um, oh, let's compare this to the to the original Pi or or the Pi Zero. So this is the Pi Zero Two, right? Now this is the these are Pi Zeros. So a couple Pi Zeros and the Pi Zero 2. Now you'll notice they look very similar. You can tell the difference, um, you know, just by looking at them, um, e even on the back. But uh, but yeah, different different CPUs. Uh, what, what is what is the original Pi? So yeah. In anyways, just different system on a chip, and um, yeah, th this one's going to be more powerful. Same RAM. 
Um, same placement and layout for everything. So, oh yeah, so, so your, your SD card will go in here. Whoops, I should move these so the camera can see them. Yeah, so your SD card goes here, and that's the same for all of these on the two original zero W's and on the uh, zero W2. Now, um, wh what else? That's that's about it. See, the layout's the same. The ports are in the same place. They'll both fit in the same uh, in the same cases. A case designed for one will fit the other. So, for example, the two can fit inside. I actually have to snap this in place, and I don't want to do that right now. But they they should all fit inside the same case. So that's worth being aware of. Um, yeah. So I guess the next thing I'm gonna cut away to my demo showing how this works in just a sec. All right, one last thing I wanted to show before cutting away to the demo is uh, this is the Raspberry Pi Pico, and notice this is much smaller than any of these. Um, so the difference between the, the, the Pi Zero and the Pi Pico, this is like an actual computer system that you could run an OS on and everything. And this is, um, this is just a microcontroller. You would just write your program directly to this and it would just run that single program. So that's, it's kind of like an Arduino. So that's, that's the difference between these and you can see the size difference in the port. This has like no ports on it at all except this one that you would connect to, to power and to send data to it. And then it has all these pins that you could solder things to. Um, so that's it. That's uh, just one other thing I wanted to compare it to, but there you go. Now we're gonna cut away right now. All right, here it is powered up. Um, I initially tried booting up with an Ubuntu SD card. It didn't work. I, it might have been a bad SD card, I'm not sure. But um, in any case, I, I popped in a, another SD card with Raspberry Pi OS, and here it is booted up. So let's take a quick look. Adjust the camera a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I apologize for the angle and not doing like an actual screen grab but I want to get the pie and stuff in here. All right, so here we are. Um, not too much to look at, but let's take a look. Oh, and you'll notice it says Raspberry Pi 400. This is not a Raspberry Pi 400. It's a Raspberry Pi uh, um, 02W. So um, I, I, I pulled the SD card out of my Raspberry Pi 400 and used that because the SD card I originally intended to use on this is just having problems and I just wanted to get this up and running right now. So anyways, cat proc CPU info. So take, let's take a look at the CPU. Um, we can see it's a, uh, you know, it's an ARM V7 processor revision four. Um, it gives us a boggle MIPS and stuff. And we can see offhand, we have, you know, we have CPUs uh, zero through three. So four, four core CPU as, as we expect. I mean, you can see the hardware model and stuff like that. Um, serial number, you can see right down here, model. Raspberry Pi uh, 0 to revision 1.0. Um, and let's see, it's going to show that, uh, yeah, just, just at the bottom here, not for each CPU. Um, let, let's see here. Gives us, like, the, the ARM architecture and stuff like that. Um, up time. Uname dash a. All right, so we do uname dash a. All right, so the host name is Raspberry Pi 400, just because I took the SD card from there. So just select like the Linux kernel, the the architecture and stuff like that. Not too much else. Uh, All right, so Raspbian 10. We can see I'm up and, and I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. So it just can't, came up, um, you know, it has built-in Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi is working just fine. Um, it was originally, the interface would have been configured for, you know, it's just configured for DHCP on the the other Raspberry, the Raspberry Pi 400 that I had this SD card plugged into, I moved it to this one and it's working just fine with this rep with with this Wi-Fi. So let's take a look here. Just to show it doing something other than you know, doing stuff on the command line.
So it's a little slow. I'm not sure if this is this is a network issue or if it's just uh, you know, the system running out of RAM. I can't imagine it needs that much just to load YouTube in a in Chromium, but we do only have a 512 megs of RAM. But there we go. I'm not gonna actually play anything because I probably can't because of copyright issues. But um, let's see here. Let's take a look at our RAM actually. It does kind of feel a little bit laggy. So um, yeah, look, looks like we have. So there, there we go, total, sh it shows memory 429. Um, used is this much, free is uh, 62. Um, we, we have this much shared, buffered, cached, and available is 87. So like if we were to free up the buffers, it would bring us up to 87. Um, so, so not, not a whole ton of RAM, but, um, yeah, I guess if, if anything causes it to spike up, it's going to start, um, you know, it might start lagging. So I, I would have to guess that, you know, it, it lags because even the terminal is lagging now. So it seems like the whole system is lagging and I would guess that's due to RAM. Um, yeah, so probably not an optimal system for, uh, you know, for a deck for desktop use. You could kind of use it as a desktop, but not optimal. Um... Other than that, uh, what else? Yeah, so great for projects and stuff. Um, same amount of RAM, really low, not enough to really run a desktop that well, um, just because of how much RAM things eat up. It works okay when you're just running the terminal or simple stuff on the desktop. Once you're out launching Chromium and, and browsing the web and stuff, it eats up tons of RAM, apparently. And, um, yeah, the CPU is uh, supposedly about twice as powerful as the previous Raspberry Pi Zero. And um, I, I can feel it. It's actually, it feels pretty warm. Um, you know, putting my thumb on the, the on the system on a chip here. Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, so faster processor, but you're, you're still mostly going to want to use this for projects like building robots or, or, or whatever else. But um not not quite so much for desktop use and that that's that's about it so um if you you know we're gonna probably i'm gonna probably just use this for projects so you might want to stay tuned for that we do have some interesting things coming up not just with this but we have a raspberry pi pico a bunch of um older raspberry pi zeros ton of other raspberry pis and single board computers when you're doing uh 3d printing electronics um you know linux servers code um, you know, a lot of Python, C++, Java, all sorts of great stuff. We have tons of stuff coming up, so you're not going to want to miss that, miss out on that. So you might want to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you get a notification when you come up, come out with a new video. And, um, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, um, leave a comment down below because I want to know what, you know, I, I want to know what you think. That's it. So, um... That's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we will see you guys on the next video.